In this video, we will show you how to insert a Guardian Sensor 3. Do not insert your sensor until you have been instructed to do so by your healthcare provider. Gather the following supplies. A Guardian Sensor 3, the one press serter, oval tape, a transmitter that has been fully charged, an alcohol wipe, an optional liquid adhesive, any other optional off-the-shelf adhesive you plan to use, and a sharps container. Wash your hands before you begin. If you are currently wearing a sensor, you will need to remove it before inserting a new sensor. Remove the tape that is covering the transmitter. Peel back the adhesive tab, pinch the flexible arms of the sensor, and pull the transmitter away to disconnect it. Peel off the oval tape that is covering the sensor, then loosen the sensor adhesive by lifting up the adhesive tab. Remove the sensor from your body. Discard the sensor in a sharps container. Be sure to follow the instructions in the user guide on how to properly clean your transmitter, then place the transmitter back in the charger so it can be recharged. Next, you'll need to choose a site to insert the sensor. For ages 2 to 13, the shaded areas on the abdomen and buttocks are recommended for insertion. For ages 14 and above, the shaded areas on the abdomen and the back of the upper arms are recommended for insertion. Assistance may be needed for sensor insertion into the back of the upper arm. When choosing your site, be sure it is at least 2 inches away from your belly button. For best glucose sensor performance, be sure to avoid sites where your clothing may rub or constrict, for example, your belt line. You should also avoid sites where your body naturally bends or where there is a great deal of motion, and sites that are scarred or have hardened tissue or stretch marks. Be sure to rotate your sensor sites in order to avoid tissue damage that could occur from overuse. Clean the insertion site with alcohol and let the skin dry before inserting the sensor. Do not use any other product or tape on the site before inserting the sensor. Let's take a closer look at the Guardian Sensor 3. Open the Guardian Sensor 3 package. Remove the sensor by holding the plastic pedestal. Do not hold it by the sensor or needle housing, as this could damage the sensor. Place the sensor with pedestal on a clean, flat surface such as a table. Make sure the sensor's adhesive tab is tucked under the sensor connector and snaps. Now let's take a look at the serter. Hold the serter so your thumb is on the thumbprint. Be sure your fingers are not touching the green buttons on either side of the serter. Carefully, push the serter down onto the sensor and pedestal until the base of the serter sits flat on the table and you hear a click. Do not push the serter too hard onto the sensor as this may cause the sensor to load improperly. To detach the serter from the pedestal, be sure your thumb is still placed on the thumbprint and you are not touching the buttons. Place two fingers on the pedestal arms, holding it in place, and slowly pull the serter straight up. After the pedestal is detached, the sensor remains inside the serter. This step also removes the adhesive liner from the sensor. The side arrow on the serter will indicate where the needle is located. Place the base of the serter flat against the site that you prepared. Holding the serter securely, press and release the small bumps on both green buttons at the same time to insert the sensor. Do not pull the serter away from your skin yet. Continue to hold the serter against your skin to allow time for the adhesive to stick. Then, slowly pull the serter away from your skin, making sure you do not press the buttons while doing so. Now you'll need to remove the insertion needle. If someone else is performing this step for you, please refer to the user guide for instructions. With one hand, gently hold the sensor by placing one finger on the front of the sensor and one finger on the sensor connector to ensure your glucose sensor stays in place. Be sure you do not hold or pinch the sides of the sensor. With the other hand, hold the needle housing at the tip and slowly pull straight out away from the sensor. The needle automatically retracts inside the plastic needle housing. Discard the entire piece into a sharps container. If bleeding occurs at your insertion site, apply steady pressure using sterile gauze or a clean cloth for up to 3 minutes. Please consult the user guide for what to do if bleeding does not stop. Now that your sensor is inserted, you may use an optional liquid adhesive such as skin tack to help keep it in place. To apply the adhesive, open the packet and remove the skin tack wipe. With one hand, gently lift the adhesive pad while keeping your fingers on the sensor base to prevent it from pulling out. With the other hand, wipe the skin beneath the adhesive pad. Next, wipe the area around the sensor, including the adhesive pad, and wait for the liquid to become dry and sticky. 
Carefully remove the adhesive liner that is located underneath the curved adhesive pad. Press the adhesive pad against the skin. Now flip the adhesive tab so it lies flat against the skin, but do not remove the adhesive liner from the tab just yet. Next you need to apply the oval tape. Remove the paper backing marked with a number 1, but do not remove the two smaller tabs yet. Hold the oval tape by the covered ends and apply the wide part of the tape so it covers both the round side of the sensor and the skin securely. Next, apply the remaining part of the tape onto the adhesive pad without blocking the sensor connector. Smooth down the tape and remove the paper tabs marked with the number 2 from the sides of the tape. Smooth the tape against the skin. Remove your transmitter from the charger and watch for the green light to flash. With one hand, hold the sensor in place. Hold the transmitter with your other hand and push it onto the sensor. It will click when it is connected. The green light on the transmitter will start flashing within a few seconds. It will flash for a few seconds and then turn off. If necessary, use a mirror to see the green light. Once the transmitter is connected, remove the adhesive liner from the adhesive tab. Fold the adhesive tab over and stick it on the transmitter, being careful not to pull the tab too tightly. Now you need to apply a second piece of oval tape to the transmitter. Remove the paper backing marked with the number 1. Rotate the tape and place it over the transmitter. The wide part of the tape should cover both your skin and the back of the transmitter. Smooth down the tape and remove the paper tabs marked with the number 2 from the sides of the tape. Smooth the sides of the tape. When the sensor is ready to be started, your pump will show the sensor connected screen. Typically, this screen will display in less than a minute, but in some cases, may take up to 10 minutes. Once the screen appears, select Start New Sensor. The pump will display the sensor warm up started message. Press the down arrow, then select OK to clear the screen. Your pump will go back to the home screen and will show Warm Up until the sensor is ready for the first calibration. Your pump will notify you with a Calibrate Now alert when it is ready for its first calibration. As you wear your sensor, be sure to regularly check your sight. If additional tape is needed to secure the sensor and transmitter, you can apply additional tape. <laughs>